Welcome to today's video. Jared and I are getting ready to go to the Parade of Homes, which is perfect for us right now because we are building a home and the timing could not be more perfect because we can make any changes we want, we're pretty in the, much. We're in a really good sweet spot where if we want to change a door or the placement the of something, of windows, a lots of kitchen. design choices, we can change. We are going to go look for inspiration. We're going to take video footage, pictures. The cool thing about the parade is that there are houses that are below our budget, but also houses that are way, 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 way above way. our budget. So it'll be fun to see the scope of homes and the inspiration that we can get. And maybe we'll find some things that we like that we wanna say, hey, let's add that to our house. Totally, especially where right now I've been conflicted. Am I gonna do black? interior Ooh, yeah. windows or white and I kind of want to see what everyone else is doing at these homes. I was going to do black, now I'm leaning back to white. Right. So I think I'm going to do white, but we'll see after going to the Prada homes. What's fun about this is this is like people's top notch best work. They like people from all over come to southern Utah for the Parade of Homes. This has always been a huge hit. I think it's because it's like a really good location. Like tons of people from California come in, Texas, like Utah's huge alone. Yeah. Um, so it's just really fun to see all the builders work. And this is where a lot of builders and show off landscapers, their work. Um, pool people get mm -hmm. jobs is people come and look around. Luckily, we already have our guys. <laughs> um, we love our builder and everyone that he works with. They actually built our friend Dan's house from What's Inside. Dan and Leslie, um, they have a beautiful home that was in the Prada Homes last year. They had the most foot traffic. Yep. Of course they did. Um, I could be way 22, wrong. 22,000 people? Something like thousands, tens of thousands of people walk through their house. This year will be much different. Um, there's a lot of guidelines. Obviously, we'll yes. bring our masks. Um, I think they had limited um, so many people can come per day, but mm -hmm. we're really, really excited to go and get some inspiration. Get a little taste of <laughs> what we're getting ourselves into. So excited! I like that you always talk to us. Me too. And you always ask where we're going. Are you guys going for the night? No, we'll just be gone for a few hours. Okay. Love you, bud. Love you. You're my best helper. I think you're so cute. <laughs> Bye. Love you, bud. Be good. <laughs> <laughs> he just like... <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> you thought that was funny, huh? I thought it was funny too. <laughs> he just did it again. <laughs> he, oh my what gosh. What did he do? <laughs> Thumbs up. I yeah. don't know if he gets it from movies. He is so sweet. It's like, I think, I think that some people would look at that and be like, oh, like, <laughs> But like, he really means it. Like he really just like wants to like mm -hmm. be so loving to me. I don't know why I'm so not nice <laughs> sometimes. I hope when he's older, like 14, 15, 16 years old, he looks back on that and be like, I was sweet to my mom. I was nice to my mom. He's, not embarrassed about doing no, that. No, because are you embarrassed? No, I so many sweet things. To but I'm also 32 uh, yeah. years old. Yeah. If I were 16, I might think a little I different. I get that. Okay. He is so sweet. He Should is. we go look at Let's go. This house has one of my favorite bathroom accessories. The faucets, the mirrors, the lighting. This home is definitely like my favorite when it comes to the aesthetic. So the cool thing about this house is it's built more for like a vacation rental. And the builder, when he built it, he loved it so much, he's like, I don't want anyone else to rent this, I want it. So he bought it himself, he built it and then bought it for his family. And the cool thing about this is it has what's like a fake lake or a giant swimming pool that is accessible to the owners in this area. The bathroom, oh my gosh, like the white oak cabinets with like the thick marbling countertops were killer. One thing that I love about this is the outdoor patio area in the back. Yeah, you have the pool, yeah, you have the giant man-made Cool. But the patio area is really cool, I think. One thing that was really the interesting. The lighting. The lighting above the bed, it's like, what? Why? It's like on, it's like by the feet. It's so and weird. And it was so low. The lights in the bedrooms really were 
weird to me. Mm -hmm. As you go upstairs, there's a pool table, which I always think is very cool. Yeah, the bathrooms were just top notch. And I really like that not everything was just white. They had a lot of color in the tile, the marble, uh, the sinks and that sort of thing. So in this bathroom, there was a cool thing. In order to utilize the spacing under the sink, they kind of cut out uh, where the piping goes so you can use a lot of that. Going up to the third floor it was just so cool. There's so many more bedrooms, there's so many bunk beds. It's the ultimate kid place. There's what, six beds right here, which I think is so fun. It was so open. And an incredible view over the lake pool with another patio area for cooking, for playing, for lounging. It was just gorgeous. This definitely gave us more ideas of colors and faucets than layout because we already have the layout of our home. Like this really was fun just to see like colors be put together and like I said the aesthetic of this one was like definitely ours. This is another vacation rental. And the first thing that we noticed when we walked in was the artificial grass. And I really wanted to get a good feel for that. So I went down and I did a snow angel. No, a grass angel. It actually yeah. felt pretty good. The swimming pool was nice, long, and skinny. And then we go inside. And just like the other house, this had a lot of cool aesthetics with it. Ellie is showing the cabinets right here. And one thing that we're trying to figure out is in our living room, what we're gonna do with the cabinets on either side of the fireplace. I still don't know what we're gonna do. In this house, this is where Jared and I made our final decision. We have been going Going back and forth with black exterior and interior windows. We've gone back and forth because like it really is beautiful. But we've came down to decide that we're going to stick with white. It made the house feel bright and that, that's what I was looking for. One thing that I kept going back and forth was is like look at all the way that they're incorporating different colors. There's black faucets, there's gray handles, there's gold faucets. I mean, it's anything. You can do anything, which is kind of fun. Mm -hmm. They had bunk beds in one room, but the interesting thing about it is there were sinks in the bunk bedroom. It's not in the bathroom. It was all the bedrooms and then the sinks. And then you walk around the corner to go to the bathroom, which I did not like at all. We think that's a disaster waiting to happen for kids. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. The bunk beds are so cool, and we'll show you more of those that we love too. What do you think of this black wall? I think it's like a really fun choice, but I don't think we'll ever do something like that. And like the built-in like concrete sitting area, like that was amazing. All I can think of is, is heads. heads. <laughs> But we definitely love like the honeycomb tile and texture. The nice thing about parade homes is people are able to like go beyond the normal of uh, design. So because it's it's people's work that they want to showcase. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is advertisement for all the people that have built these homes. There's a ping pong table, and I think we're gonna get one. This time <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Okay, are these lights or are they shower heads? I think they're shower heads, and I'm like, what is that? I want it. And last but not least, it had a beautiful patio with hot tub and fireplace. Okay, let's get into some homes now instead of like rentals Vacation and stuff. rentals. The exterior is painted white, has the black windows. It's beautiful. You, I can't look at this and not say it's beautiful. I don't like painted brick. I don't like it though. It is definitely something that is a trend and I think it's gonna go away. And you can see my friend is right here. We went with them. One cool thing was this kid's area. Ellie died and oh, she's like, we've gotta have this. I took house. so many pictures of this area because in our upstairs, we were supposed to have a bedroom and we decided to take that bedroom out and give the kids more space to play. Mm -hmm. And in that like bedroom area. The flex um, room, we'll call yeah, it. Yeah, we're, I'm going to, kind of style it like this kid mm -hmm. playroom, which I really liked. This is another example of utilizing gold fixtures with black, you know, black hardware and silver faucets. Uh, it's unique, but cool at the same time. Mm -hmm. I definitely love the gold and the subtle hint of green you see yeah. here. This the shower was just open and beautiful. I've got a bone to pick with this shower. This is such a huge space. Why only two shower heads? Where are those body sprayers? Mm -hmm. Where's the rainfall? Mm -hmm. Give me some more shower heads, please. Yeah. 
For a shower that big, you gotta dress it up more. <laughs> but it's beautiful. So here's an example. Giant Guys. bathroom with a tiny, tiny closet to go potty in. Guys, I can't. I can't. I don't understand it. I, I get having to go poop in a closet. I get it. Most ba ba bathrooms have to have a door and you go to the bathroom, whatever. When you have a master suite, where you have your master bedroom, you have your master bathroom, you each get your own sink, you have the soaker tub, your shower. Why do people have to then poop in a closet? It's like the bathroom's like, okay, just open the door and go in here. It's like, and then when I mention that, people are like, well, you need your privacy. And I'm like, I don't, you have your privacy. You lock your bedroom door, and then you have this whole beautiful suite. Yeah. Jared and I don't get that. That's like the one thing I'm like, I don't care here's, how here's where I do get professional yeah. designer you are, I will never just go poop. When my you're closet. doing a custom home, it's like, yeah, you should do that. But not a lot of people have the choice of like doing totally custom. Totally get that. We're talking about custom homes where you pick and choose exactly. Yes. I get when you want privacy. But the counterpoint is just like you said, well, just lock the bathroom door, yes. not the toilet door. Yes, I'm definitely talking like if you are able to design your bathroom, like these homes that are million dollar homes, I'm like, I don't get it, but we, that's okay. We talk a little too much about the bathroom. It's a, it's really important. For the past seven years. It's really important. <laughs> this closet was beautiful. Ellie loves a chandelier. I love the mirror. I, I thought it was just really pretty. I love that mirror. Something so simple as just like a light like that can add so much to it. I really like the black sink here. Okay, the next house is, this is the ultimate house. This is the one I was so excited to see when it came on the Parade of Homes. This is humongous, ginormous, gigantic. Once again, there's the painted brick. It is stunning. It's and it's beautiful. not it's not stark white, which I think adds to it. It makes it a little bit. Oh, different. this grand entrance was like the grand entrance. I mean, that herringbone floor. Well, and those chandeliers were killer. The living area with a grand piano is just gorgeous. The windows bring in so much light. I loved that they brought in the exterior of the house inside. You see that wall that's mm -hmm. like that painted brick? Yep. And then I had Jared film these doors because I love seeing the white oak doors. This closet I don't even, like there's just so much space. There's just so much. But it the coolest beautiful. thing about it is that there's a safe built into it, like a giant safe. It's a vault wall. But get this, look at this shower. When we're talking shower space, look how many shower heads, look how many, like this shower is the ultimate shower and that rainfall shower is you ginormous. <laughs> yes. And then outside that, there's an exit from the shower to your own private hot tub. What in the actual I mean, heck? you wouldn't ever, 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 ever want to leave. It no, was you beautiful. Would've. Here's a really cool feature that I didn't know was available until we saw this house. So this is a privacy door. You can turn on and off the privacy portion of the door. We thought we were going to do this for our front door. Yeah. Because a lot of people just do these huge glass doors and Jared and I are like, we need more privacy. <laughs> we yeah. don't want that. We were gonna do that, and we, when we went to go get our door done, we brought it up to the guy, and he was like, "Yeah, I've done a few of them, and I actually wouldn't recommend it because they last about six months before the wiring in the door kind of gives out. Yeah. So if there was a better way to make it last longer, we might consider yeah, it. Yeah, but definitely." We won't do that. This kitchen, look at this kitchen. This will be our kitchen. We're gonna do all white oak cabinets from ceiling to floor. We're not breaking it up by doing half white, half oak or painted or anything. Which was so good for me to see because I'm a very visual person and seeing it in person helped me solidify our decision with that. I was really nervous about all white oak. I was really glad you could oak. see it. Cause he, mm -hmm. that's the one thing he's like, I don't know if we should do that. Yeah. Kitchen is ginormous. Living room is ginormous. Pantry is ginormous. What I love is is that there's this indoor outdoor second kitchen. Mind blown. So if you are having a pool party, you just open up the wall and you have this kitchen right here. I mean, this was so close to the other kitchen. It was right. so close. Yeah, it kind of is like. This definitely is like where the price point goes up, like mm -hmm. adding a whole nother like kitchen, like all that white oak. It's stunning. Right. It was beautiful. The, the pool, pool, the landscape, 
I mean, I mean this is like a hotel. Who did that pool? <laughs> Who did the pool? What? I don't think I have it. Yeah. There was a cool swing area that we thought we might implement. We have a little zen garden area and it was like, oh, let's put those swings there. Yeah. To swing all our problems away. This is not a home theater. This is a movie theater. They charge you admission to come watch the movies here. The laundry room was stunning. They had wallpaper. I noticed a lot of laundry rooms were multi-purpose. Um, almost all of the laundry rooms we saw were desks for kids. A lot of people are doing homeschool. Um, craft rooms with the laundry room. So the laundry room definitely had more purposes than just laundry space, which I really loved. So these lockers are interesting because you see the grids and I thought they would be blocked off, but you can actually remove those. So if you want airflow, if you're putting shoes in there, Ooh. that's cool. But if you don't need it, you can block it and have not the stuff showing. In this bedroom, they have a loft upstairs where you can go and play, which I think is so cool. But the bathroom is next level. I'm jealous of this bathroom. For a little, like, oh my, for a little girl, for me. For a, like, oh my gosh. It's massive. They have it's the beautiful. freestanding tub, the shower. I really like the colors this of this room. This was like a perfect, like, this reminded me of Jackson. Yeah. This was such a beautiful room. The dark colors with the tans and the blues I thought were really, really great. This the is a cool bunk room. Bunk room, okay, so Jared and I. Are you sweating? I'm like, I'm oh, nervous. I wanna, I need I'm to take sweating. my. Jared and I, we don't know if we're gonna have more kids or not. Oh, you're going into that. Oh my. <laughs> We've talked about the bedroom situation, how we took one of the bedrooms out. If we ever did have more kids, like one kid eventually will be sharing a room at some point if that's what we end up doing. Mm -hmm. And we thought it would be really fun to make Calvin's room more of like a play, fun, Fun Something room. like what you see here. I think we're gonna do. We're gonna experiment a, with a this. bunk room, it's which not, I think is so fun. It's not solidified, but a nice cool lounge area upstairs, just off of the grand piano. Look room. at all the colors. This is a casita, so there's actually a casita off of the house, which adds to the square footage. But this is a perfect place for grandma and grandpa to come and like live there for a few months. Next up. So this is a big house on one floor. And I think the reason why it costs so much is some of the things that you'll see in the house, but also the location of the house. This isn't like a really nice, nice place. All of the cabinetry, all of the lighting, all of the tile all and the marble. Floor, yeah. This is where it adds up a lot. This is a lady's craft room. It was beautiful. I noticed in every house, there was so much texture, like, the countertops were the leathered granite, which I absolutely do not like at all. Mm -hmm. this, this is a really cool element. So when the TV wants to be watched, it pops up, and when you don't want to watch it, it goes down. The thing that is interesting is like you can't really use that cabinet space for much other than just hosting the TV. But the living room, kitchen, great room area is just beautiful and massive. Three islands. <laughs> And they went all out on their outdoor cooking yeah. patio area. But, but with a view like that, like, oh wow. That's part of the reason why the cost is so much, is that view. I thought the shower was really cool. People are going all out on their showers, and I am all for that. <laughs> this is Jared's, definitely <laughs> your cup of tea. You love that. I thought this was really fun, and I definitely wanted Jared to film this, because in his office, he will have like a mini fridge, and I loved the sh open shelving that you could put like our cameras, old cameras and on. that sort of thing on. That tub was something else. Another large shower with only two shower heads. And I was like looking all at this at, at the closet. This garage is, is crazy. This room where you see the car right here is called a Faraday garage. It can handle EMPs. So if like there's a huge attack and they're trying to take out like the electronics, this garage is safe against that. It's crazy. But what I like even more. I didn't even understand a word he just said. Is going around the corner and seeing these giant water tanks. That was cool. We're definitely going to add something like that in our garage. And guess what? It's too late. They already did the plumbing. If we could have, I would have said, 
put a drain put a drain in our in one of our garages because we will have like water bins in there mm -hmm. um which is so smart to have water you always think like oh water we'll always have water but then the incident that just happened in texas which makes me so sad that um people have been like filling their bathrooms up tubs with water and like boiling it and um so we do have two blue water tanks that will go in our garage yep. but i do wish i would have remembered Putting a drain there. That's okay. The people that built this, they are artists. Mm -hmm. And you can definitely tell that. Like, all the artwork... Is displayed throughout the entire house. It's... I mean, it's very unique and like stunning. This is it's their different. house yeah. for sure. There's lots of colors everywhere. There's lots, lots of, textures of textures everywhere. Um, and it's it goes throughout the entire house. So this is like one of the most unique houses. This is the art room, as you can see, where a lot of the art comes from. And here is color. Like there's lots of blacks, oranges, blues, uh, browns throughout this area. I did enjoy seeing a lot more color. Like none of these homes are like just white walls, white kitchen, mm -hmm. white. Like our last home was very just bright. Yep. And I'm excited to incorporate more me colors. Too. Here is a shower that I love. Count all the shower heads. One, two, three, four, at least five shower heads. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking that about. That was amazing. But see all the texture? I'm not a designer. This is just my personal opinion. But like I see all like the marbly wall, which is stunning. But then I see how busy the floor is with another type of like marble. I'm like, that's just a lot. That would probably overwhelm me. I would like do one or the other. Oh. Uh, there it is. There it is. It's a urinal, Ellie. They had a bathroom for her and a bathroom for him. They did. That's right. That's Which so Which I thought, funny. well, that's fun. Another example of a beautiful closet. Their closet was definitely decked out. I mean, that was a mm -hmm. stunning closet. This was a home that you would get lost in. There was lots of hallways. Mm -hmm. Very cool lit countertop, which was super unique. Yeah, one thing that we've noticed is a lot of these houses are very compartmentalized. There's not a ton of open spaces with the exception of the great room and living room. And you'll see that in the last house that we're gonna show you, which is the most expensive house that we toured. Are you ready for this? It was really unique. Now with a nearly $5 million house, how big do you think it is? You I would mean, think it would be huge. For a $5 million home, I would think at least 10,000 square feet. Minimum. This is 5,100 square feet. It's the location. This is just like the lot. It is. You'll see where it sits and how beautiful yep, it is. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's in the red rock. Mm -hmm. And it's in a place where you're not gonna have tons of people Traffic. building around you. No, I noticed as soon as I walked in, I didn't like it. Look at this cat, this countertop. It's like angled. Everything in this house That's almost right. felt like a Dr. Seuss house. The soft floors drawers are awesome mm -hmm. always. We definitely want those. Carpet was killer. But look at the view from this bedroom. Oh. Like this is what the money's paying yeah, for. Yeah, that, like, that that's amazing. A, that's view. a five million dollar view. <laughs> to wake up to that, it was beautiful. I loved what I loved it, the ribbon? basket weave. Basket weave. It was yeah. so beautiful. Beautiful shower. This bathroom closet area was beautiful, but the one thing that was interesting is how high the mirrors were. You'll see Ellie in a second trying to like peek over and like try and see herself as she's trying to take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I can't see. And another beautiful large closet. I mean, look at this view of the pool. Like they are in the red rock of Southern Utah. Like. Mm -hmm. And it's no one's beautiful. gonna be building above them. So they will have this view forever. Yeah. And it's it, just beautiful. And there's a couple rooms downstairs that are just bedrooms. Another bunk room, which I thought was cool because the bunks actually go into the wall a little yeah. bit. Lots and lots of gold this year, which I thought was cool. Gold and black. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, an elevator. So there's an elevator in this house. You hit that call button and you can go upstairs. And that was the parade of homes. At least that's what the houses that we went to. Yeah, we went there was to like 27 and we only went to... One, two, three, four, five, six. We went to seven homes. So we missed 20 of them. But that was as long as we could get a babysitter and that's as yep. much footage as we could get. They were beautiful. 
Lots of extra stuff that you don't typically see in homes. It's not something that we will do a ton of, but it was cool to get ideas. It's like, I feel it's like almost like going to a runway show. Oh, yes. All of these models are wearing stuff you're like, I would never ever wear that. But you take those little tiny elements and you put it into your, your fashion, or in yeah. this case, a home. Yeah. So which house did you think was the coolest? Which house do you think was the funnest? That's it, that was the Parade of Homes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And we will see you guys in our next video. Bye! Bye guys.